While performing excavations at a site known as Qubit al-Hala in southern Egypt in 2019, archaeologists from the University of Jain in Spain made a strange and startling discovery. They unearthed a tomb that contained the remains of ten mummified crocodiles, which once swam the waters of the River Nile in large numbers during the time of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs. Two of the Spanish archaeologists have joined forces with a pair of Belgian scientists to produce a full and complete analysis of the skeletons of these mummified crocodiles in their tombs, published in the journal PLOS1. More than 20 burial sites with crocodile mummies are known in Egypt, but to find 10 well-preserved crocodile mummies together in an undisturbed tomb is extraordinary, explained study lead author B. de Coupier an archaeozoologist from the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences, RBINS, when discussing the mummified crocodiles. Of most mummies collected by museums in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, often hatchlings, we don't know exactly where they come from. Excavations of rock-cut tombs revealed mummified crocodiles. Kobet al-Hawa is the site of an ancient Egyptian necropolis and is located on the western bank of the Nile, opposite the historic city of Aswan. Its collection of over 100 tombs features the resting places of many aristocrats and priests, mostly from the age of the Old and Middle Kingdoms, 2,700 to 1,800 before Christ. Rare Discovery of Intact Mummified Crocodiles at Qubit al hawa The crocodiles were first buried elsewhere, possibly in sand pits, de Coupier said. This allowed the crocodiles to dry out naturally. Then the remains were unearthed, wrapped and moved to the tomb in Qubit al hawa Body parts must have been lost during wrapping and transport. One of the intact mummified crocodiles was so perfectly preserved that the archaeologists found stones known as gastrolites still presented its intestines. These are small rocks that reptiles will sometimes swallow to help them digest food or in the case of crocodiles, to help them maintain their balance while immersed in water. The presence of gastrolites helped confirm that the crocodiles were not cut open and cleaned out after their deaths, but were mummified in a more natural state. There were no signs of visible injury on the skeletal remains of the mummified crocodiles. Ancient Egyptians captured the dangerous creatures by ensnaring them with nets, and the researchers speculate the crocodiles buried in the tomb were either drowned, suffocated, or baked in the hot sun to ensure they were dead before being sent off to the afterworld. The unfortunate creatures were being offered to Sobek as sacrifices, with the proper rituals being carried out beforehand to make sure the sacrifices would be accepted and would bring favor to the Egyptian people. Sacrifices to Sobek, the crocodile-headed god in ancient Egypt, crocodiles were used in rituals dedicated to Sobek, the god of water, fertility, and pharaonic power and influence. In addition to his role in helping Egypt's pharaohs achieve and preserve political and military strength, Sobek was also said to protect the people from the dangers associated with the Nile. These would have included rapid and massive flooding, exposure to waterborne diseases, and attacks by ferocious creatures including venomous snakes, hippopotami, and crocodiles, the same crocodiles that were used in rituals meant to appease the mighty Sobek, who was usually portrayed with a man's body but a crocodile's head.